This is Drosrin atalensis from Chiminemni Mountains in Zimbabwe. It's a very beautiful form of Drosrin atalensis that has this pretty unique tendency to sort of drape its newer leaves over its older growth. The leaf coloration usually remains green unless given very intense lighting, and you can sort of see the red coloration that I'm talking about on the older growth of this plant here, but uh, under enough lighting intensity, even the newest leaves would look that red. The plants that I've shown you are two years old grown from root cuttings, and this is a very easy species to grow um, and has rapid growth if you feed it, but if you don't feed it, then um, for some reason in warmer temperatures, this sort of has a tendency to struggle, and at least this past summer when temperatures were only about 85 degrees Fahrenheit or less, uh, the leaves looked very sickly, and looked um, as though the plants were going to die, but once the temperatures sort of cooled down for the year during the winter months, the growth really resumed nicely and it's even flowering without feeding uh, for the past year. So I don't know why that happened, uh, why that happens with uh, the tendency to be more sickly if not fed during the summer, but regardless, a very beautiful form in cooler temperatures and remains about the size of uh, a half dollar coin or larger uh, on its own, but if you feed it, it can get even bigger than this. And uh, these plants are growing in a peat sand mixture in a four inch pot right now uh, and seem to be doing pretty well. But um, as I mentioned, a taller pot would allow this plant to get a bit larger, and especially if they aren't as clumped as the plants here, they can sort of size up even more. The flowers, for some reason, have a tendency to burn up and not produce viable seed for me and uh, that's been a problem for trying to spread this species around to other growers but I've been able to take a few root cuttings and spread this plant around to just a few people so far so hopefully in the near future I can take more root cuttings and be able to spread this species around since it is pretty rare in cultivation still but um, I just still like to give an example to show you the different types of sundews that are out there um, so that hopefully if they ever get into tissue culture or something like that in the near future you'll be able to already kind of have an idea of what this plant uh, grows like. So there you have it. This is Drosornatolensis from Chiminemini Mountains in Zimbabwe.